All right, guys, so I wanted to make this quick little video uh, talking about some of the McFarlane toys coming out. McFarlane toys or DC Multiverse figures is what we're going to be focusing on. They're pumping out figures like crazy. As soon as they announce it, it seems like the store, the figures are already starting to hit stores. I'm still trying to catch up. I think I'm like two waves behind. And I mean, they just keep coming out with all these awesome pre-orders that are just, they just look great. And I'm so hyped. And I, I, it's, it's like a little frustrating because I'm still trying to keep up. And a lot of times it's really hard to find some of these figures. I mean, some of them that they just announced are already starting to hit stores, you know, and it's, it's really insane uh, because a lot of my, a lot of times I can't find a lot of DC multiverse figures. And I mean, McFarlane, like I said, McFarlane is just killing it with what he is doing. I love these, these DC figures. They're just so awesome. And I'm still trying to finish this wave right here. The, um, the one that has the Grim Knight Batman. That's that's still a wave I'm I'm still trying to finish even though I saw them in store but I because I, I have them on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store uh, I'm excited for the Flashpoint Batman they just announced an unmasked version of him which looks great we're going to be getting some injustice figures from the Flash Gorilla Grodd and then we're also going to be getting the Dark Knight Metals Bat Bat bike or the bat the bat the bat cycle whatever you want to call it um, this is going to be a vehicle so I'm super happy that we're getting vehicles I'm hoping down the line. McFarlane will give us a, a Batmobile and other vehicles, not just everything relating to Batman. I would like to see some other vehicles from other characters as well, from other superheroes or, you know, ships or, you know, other other type of vehicles. But this one does look really, really good. Um, on, uh, another big thing is, literally, is he's bringing back the 12-inch line for Spawn. He, he just uh, showed us on Instagram the 12-inch Commando Spawn. That's going to be coming very soon. I'm super hyped for this because I own the 12 inch and 7 inch command, original commando spawn. So, this is definitely something I am going to want in my collection. And not only that, but he also revealed the new build a figure Bane. This guy looks massive and just looks incredible. It looks like it knocks the original DC Malt or DC Universe by Mattel. That build a figure Bane. Let's gonna knock that one out of the park. Even though I love that Bane, but I mean this one just looks insane. I am super hyped with what McFarlane is doing with all these figures, all these, all these new, awesome, like sculpting, sculpted figures. And I know a lot of people are upset because he's focused mainly on Batman. Um, I have no problem with it because I'm a huge Batman fan. I'm a huge McFarlane fan. Um, but I still would like to see other characters. There's so many other characters I would love to see McFarlane tackle. Uh, I want to see a, a Clayface, a Mr. Freeze. I mean, that's in the Batman universe. But if we go into Superman universe, I'd love to see, you know, the death of Superman characters. I think that would be awesome. Or, you know, some uh, some Green Lantern, other Green Lantern characters. Uh, some people in the Wonder Woman universe. Uh, there's so many characters they can tackle in the DC universe especially dark side i would like to see a dark side a doomsday but uh you guys let me know in the comments below overall what do you think of the dc multiverse by todd mcfarlane what do you think overall guys are you happy with what's coming out do you like the sculpting the articulation let me know down below and what other characters do you want to see him make in the dc universe let me know down below guys what you think overall is this line a pickup is it a pass let me know your thoughts we'll see you soon guys later don't believe